a map of good memories is based on 20 good memories, uh, which instead of um, linking them to a fixed moment in time, I link them to the path trajectories, moving trajectories, to reach these places I love and these people that I loved. So um, when you look at it, uh, you, you can think that it is the map of a country, but uh, you can notice some shapes which are repeating, and this can give you a hint that it's not, um, it's not a real country, but it's an imaginary country. Um, you can uh, also see a lot of details which can give you indication about uh, these 20 trajectories which are assembled together to form this closed shape. So you have very uh, small details, like here, of what is more mountain roads. And you have then um, uh, sim simpler shapes which are more like uh, highways or the littoral of uh, Lebanon. And so many people think this is the map of Lebanon or a part of the map of Lebanon in gold, but that's not really the, the truth. But it does have a shape that is a little bit similar because in Lebanon to go towards the north or towards the south, uh, you do uh, take the littoral, which uh, constitutes one of the frontiers of the country. So lines that we already know. Um, then uh, we ca could call uh, this work a kind of autobiographical self-portrait. Um, so it's of course coming from uh, very personal, very um, intimate memories. Uh, but at the same time, there are no more. At the same time, there are no more any geographical indications. You, ca you can only see one one shape, and in this way, it uh, opens to the public. The public can uh, relate to it and can experiment it physically because it's allowed to walk on it. Uh, now I will not do it, but uh, starting from the opening day, the work will be uh, will can be experimented by people, and they will trace new lines on this uh, territory, which uh, I obtain by placing these 20 trajectories next to each other. Uh, so that also means that this very precious gold which has the same preciousness as these memories, uh, which is combined with the ground, uh, even though the ground of the Maxi is very clean, but it's still the ground, we walk on it with our feet. Uh, it's the, the dirtiest part, somehow the lowest of the architecture, and it's 24 karat gold, which is combined with that. Um, so this will be uh, erased slowly, starting from the opening day and throughout the three months of the exhibition. Um, so it's, we could call it, because the exhibition is called Home Beirut, we could call it a kind of very temporary home for new uh, trajectories to be traced on, on it.